Paul Taylor. Paul Taylor. Oh, good question, Paul Taylor. Paul Taylor says, why does Rotoriot have the Avatar goggles for only $480? Is there a new model coming out? Uh, so Rotoriot sent out a, uh, a, a, a email blast today that uh, announced a price drop on the Avatar goggles. Uh, or Fat Shark. Technically, Rotoriot doesn't sell the Avatar goggles. They sell the Fat Shark Dominator goggles. Dominator HD, whatever you want to call it. Technically, they're not the Avatar goggles because those are sold by Walksnail, which is a, definitely a completely different company and a completely different product from Fat Shark. Um, but why did they drop the price? Well, I don't know, first of all. You might think that because I uh, appear in Rotorite episodes and hang out with, with, with Drew and the other Rotorite guys uh, and have a group chat with them that, uh, that I would like have some special insight. And sometimes I have special insight about some things that Rotorite does. And if this was one of those times, I would say, oh, well, you know, I can't tell you or something. Uh, but I can tell you that uh, there, I don't know anything about a new product coming out. Um, I feel like, I feel like they, the Dominator goggle hasn't been around long enough for them to really recoup. Like, didn't it release just at Rampage last year? And it hasn't even been a year since Rampage hasn't happened yet again. So it's been a hell of a year for them. I would personally be really surprised if they were releasing a new goggle. So I think when I saw that the price drop had dropped, I just assume that they're trying to move units. Um, could this mean that sales are slower than they wish that they would be? It could mean that. I don't know. But whenever you see a price drop, the, the only reason that you drop price on a product is because you want to sell more of the product today, right? I like to think of price drops as uh, converting future sales into today sales. In some ways, a price drop will get you additional sales, right? Because there are people who wouldn't buy in at a certain price point, but will buy in at a lower price point. But another thing a price drop does, especially if it's like implied to be a temporary price drop, is people who might have bought in the future will buy today instead. So one reason you would do a price drop would be if you had a new product coming and you were trying to clear inventory to get rid of the current product. My guess is that's not, I, uh, it, and it's a pure guess, but I don't doesn't feel like that's what's happening here. My guess is that they, because like, have they designed a whole new set of goggles from scratch? What what would they even have? I don't know. I don't think they've designed a whole new set of goggles from scratch. Remember, Fat Shark is the one who did the design on the Dominator goggles. Walksnail did the electronics, the the RF chipset, and so on. Fat Shark did the actual uh, design, the optics, and so forth. Uh, and Fat Shark is not known for redesigning goggles ever. <laughs> Sorry, Fat Shark. It's, right? What if I told you, hey, Fat Shark released a goggle a year ago, and then it, you know, ten months later they've released a whole new goggle? Would you believe me? That's not really Fat Shark's mo. Hey. Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe this time I'll be wrong, and and you guys can uh, put this on the on the big big wall of things Bardwell was wrong about. That's not my that's not my read though. Yeah, Pacific Northwest Pilots says they tried to get in front of HD Zero and DJI O Three. They did that, but after the release of the new goggles for HD Zero and DJI O Three, the sales for Walksnail Avatar fell off a cliff. Uh, that is very plausible to me. That's very plausible. Uh, I think, uh, I, again, and I don't know, but that's very plausible that the HD zero goggles have made a big splash. I feel like the kind of person who buys a walk snail is not the same person who buys an HD zero, but some people are buying the HD zero goggles in the walk snail VRX. When the walk snail VRX came out, I said 
this is potentially going to cannibalize sales of the goggles. And maybe that's happening. And maybe they're knocking down the price of the goggles to try and move them, get them moving again. Don't know. It's pure speculation. But, uh, you know, why not shoot my mouth off? Uh, because, like, you know, what are we here for? Other than to listen to me shoot my mouth off. Right? Good. <laughs>